Draw My Life by Alyssa Robbins. One day, a baby was born named Alyssa. She was cute. When she was two, she saw some um, people acting on a TV show. And they looked really good in the TV show. So she wanted to be like them. So. She hung up some curtains in her backyard one day when she was four. And dressed up. She dressed up as a magician like they did in our TV show and tried to make an orange disappear. She failed at that. When she was six, she started craving oranges. She loved the oranges. When she was seven at school, she met this girl named Cerise Davidson. She was a fox. And her eyes were really twinkly. And like they do on the movie star shows. So they decided to become friends. best friends. One day when they were entering sixth grade, they saw this, um, this guy at the school holding a camera. So, they decided to be in a commercial. So, they begged their parents to have a vacation to to Hollywood. So they did. And what do you know? Me and <clears throat> me and my best friend got cast on a commercial. And a commercial was for cell phones. They just come out back then. They were very big, but it was worth it. And then when they got older and they were just, when they just graduated high school, they graduated together. And they were still BFFs. After that, they got their own place. And their parents missed them. But it was okay, because they sent letters. Their house had a door. 
a bedroom that was about this big. It had room for two beds, two dressers, a TV, and some childhood toys in the chest. Then they had the living room here. In the kitchen, here. They also had a bathroom in the room right here. In the attic, they kept some more stuff like child toys. There were still BFFs. So, they were in Hollywood and they auditioned for a new movie. Well, actually, it was a show called Light and Dark. Alyssa decided to audition for Catherine. And Cerise decided to audition for Adelia. The house had a nice background with flowers on it. And a pretty animal for Chouch. Your mom still missed them. But it's still okay. We still take others. And you know. So, after they auditioned for Light and Dark, they auditioned for another show called my weird crazy new school they auditioned several times but they were always rejected 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 until they were accepted one day That's when the new owners of the studio, Kiki and Cutie Pie, moved in. At first they were confused when they were doing an introduction video. Alyssa was supposed to be Kiki. And Cerise was supposed to be Cutie Pie. But after they did it for a while, they understood. With my weird crazy new school, they were accepted, and it was soon cast on live television. So, after she got host casted on TV, she began liking animal print. She loved the animal print. Because of that couch, maybe, some say. Some say just because she's a dog. She had a nice animal print scarf. It was her favorite. Her best friend wasn't so into animal print and that stuff. She preferred more of, well, she preferred more of like glitter. A lot of glitter. She loved glitter so much that she put glitter in her eyelashes. And all over her ears. And all over her hair. So then, they thought of a new show. It had nothing to do with the glitter. She wasn't going to be in it though. The show was for Alyssa. And it was called... We actually, we haven't thought of a name for it yet. It's a sci-fi series. Sci-fi. Sci-fi series. Yeah, that. So, anyway. Mm, we're gonna have space helmets and all that stuff. And, yeah. And this cute guy is gonna be in it. And he is really cute, so...
And so, yeah, he plays an astronaut, and yeah. Can't wait for the spaceship to be built. I hope it's going to have rockets and, and fires and flames and wondrous stuff like that. And animal print. I love animal print. So, where I am now is I've been casting shows and I'm a mascot along with my best friend Sabis. And we are all happy. And that's where I am now. Thank you for watching me draw my life.